once again NBA 2K25 season 3 It seems we're at the true peak point where 2K has lost their peak, their spark, their flame. There is still going to be energy in the 2K community as there's creators like me, as there is creators like me and others. 2K's natural game world was like kind of like, I guess you could say in the realm of like Call of Duty, right? Where... You know, everybody just buys the game because it's Call of Duty. And it, it's it's fun enough sometimes when you play with your homies. That's how people feel. Like, grand casual Call of Duty players. Like, you know? You can get some suspense out of the game and it could be a little fun. It's just that everybody got Call of Duty type time. 2K is kind of, like, losing that aspect because they want to take their game serious. They want their game to be a official elite pro game where they can appeal to the park crowd too as well. They actually like their park crowd, but it's not marketable. They can't get it like serious. Shout out to them for giving another cat breaker. They're just giving cat breakers now because I could see a patch in the builder next year. Y'all think y'all may think I'm like overdoing it, but I could see a patch in the builder next year. Why do I say that? Because when you look at some of these cat breaker builds, which I'm going to get into a deep video about, this is going to be a separate separate video. It's like PGs are lockdowns, pair locks, with dunking and shooting. What? When are we going to get a, a solid change that has the game actually balanced? Like, what is this? A cab? You, you know, I love the cab breakers, and I love how they're doing it, but I just don't love how certain builds are able to go outside their characteristics, like. Some people say, oh, Ant, Ant doesn't dunk every play in the NBA game. Man, Ant, some games, Ant don't even damn dunk. You guys understand what I'm saying? Dunking is like a rare thing in basketball, unless you're big. Everybody's just not coming through. Oh, Duncan. That's why it's like, oh, that's why it goes like that. That's why people get hyped like that. But in 2K, it's just so easy. You could just do it like riding a bike. Now, I have to jump into this and make high quality videos breaking down the game because they're just lacking so much. And they're not even lacking within the, um, if 12 days giving means new events, even dates like 20 year big hug. It's official. It's official. A 2K holiday takeover, NBA 2K25 throughout the month of December, Jingle all the way down, Candy Cane. They're still doing the same thing, having events each day like type shit still doing events on the holidays instead of like days before so people could play the game and then enjoy the holidays with their family when we go to the comments we see people is happy about certain things cat breakers can we get a new shot meter there's somebody asking for a new shot meter wow what did Bronny ever do to earn himself a pink diamond card I guess that's a my team thing. We'll not be playing with fire. That gets a lot of likes. We on Black Ops 6, bro. Everybody is playing Black Ops 6. Only one cat breaker. Damn, some people's actually like, that ain't nothing. So some people's looking at the one cat breaker as it's nothing. Hopefully the level 40 cat breaker becomes a staple. Huh? Oh, yeah. Like they just do it every time. You see, there's certain things like we happy about, but we're like picking up the crumbs. You know what I mean? Can we do like these rewards? You know, Winter Madness. What is the point of two of the same cards? Level 40. Another cat breaker. Please make dribbling stop when it's supposed to. And when we actually stop and fix passive dribbling, that will re revive the game. If not, this game is ruined and will go down arguably as the worst 2K of all time. I'm not going to lie to you. The movement. I don't know if they're, they're scared to. <laughs> That's another video I have coming on the devs. It's like, yo, each year. Now you don't say too much. I just have these videos rolling out. They're about to be rolling out each year, though, you know, and I can't even say nothing. The speed boosting and the moving around is bad because it's on timer. You know, it's on a timing hand it's like 
it's like I press X and the move or I do the move and the move takes three seconds still to finish off. You know what I mean? A faster three seconds, but it still takes that time. And that's what people was talking about. It's so it's ridiculous, bro. The devs, you don't guys don't know how to chain your moves together. You guys don't know how to damn dribble. Why are you touching stuff? Why are you in the midst just because something looks glitchy? Fix the glitchy aspect of it. But to touch something to say, oh, no, we need to do this to make this change because they're just moving too fast like this. And they're just too unstoppable. That's just the type of time it was on, man. And their, and their game was getting a certain look in the image. Shooting is ridiculous. Massive issue. They put a ceiling on how good you can be yes they did yes they did oh my god i'm ready to go in i'm ready to go in it's it's people are seeing this the people are seeing this right and don't don't get me wrong i'm still good like when you break it down to like a good player so i'm still good in the game it's just i can see what they're trying to do to make people to this level and then what they do is make the random suck even more the noobs are horrible this game this is why the old heads or even complaining about this game this year and not on the side. This this game is harder than any 2K has ever dropped. It's a harder 2K. Imagine somebody picking this 2K up for their first 2K versus other 2Ks that have came out. Like easier with 17, 19. Imagine this 2K was their first 2K. It's harder. The shooting, you just all like, damn, my shot, like, woo. I just feel, bro, they got to go back to their regular windows. They got to stop trying to be too realistic. When you want to get realistic, add in moves that you see from the NBA. Like y'all said the pro play was going to be, which I'm making. A, that's another video that's coming on y'all ass. Add in moves each season. That's an aspect of realisticness. Okay, they added in that move that that dude did in the season. They don't have that much tech. Is that the truth? Oh, man. You guys are not really lit then. You're still gatekeeping dribble moves. Oh, we get this move at, at this season. That is the worst thing y'all could have done. That shows y'all have no output. That literally shows you guys are running out of ideas. You guys running out of tech, heart, software, whatever the hell. That shows that. It's that simple. If before they used to give us all the moves that they had in the game, and then now they broke it down the seasons and then the moves don't even be that nice it's not even worth it it's not even like oh shit yes this is fire this season 2k y'all are ass y'all are ass i gotta take my credit my power back with this 2k shit i made this shit lit even when in 17 niggas was bitching crying complaining and i made the shit lit in other ways other creators made it lit we make the game lit not these niggas that don't even know how to come on the game and do dribble moves. Or even spray and knock down shots and go crazy. Hell no. That is the weirdest shit ever. You got niggas creating the game that don't know how to play it. To know how to play the bare minimum, basically. <laughs> this is crazy to me. The bare minimum. Look at all these comments. Nobody's agreeing. Like, this is bad, yo. You don't even have people fighting for this shit no more. And I'm not mad. I'm still doing my content because this is a, a company. It's a franchise. It goes up, it goes down, goes up, goes down. That's just how it should be. Really running out of ideas, bruh. This is what y'all take pride in way more. Smoke, a Vince Carter little edit. Like that edit costs more. Like, yo, this is what y'all taking pride in. A trailer's. Like, that's what y'all really be taking pride in. No control over the people, so they got to be on, like, the industry timing where they can't add in people, only certain select people, and the select people they add in don't got real energy or emotion. It's people that they could control a little more. They get a little buzz because they next to them, but it's like, it's not even, you know, it's crazy. This is the only good thing we have this season three, man. You see how the comments feel. So many people are just not vibing with it. They're not vibing with how 2K's rewards have been the same. Their ideas are stale. They, they It's like, and I told you guys. See, they're not like Call of Duty. COD is always going to be like a, they could change guns. Change the way a gun look. Even if they shoot the same. You see, that's how different COD is. Change the sound of a gun. How it sounds. And that just, that simple psychology changes people's minds with the game all it has to do is have, have good movement good bullet registering people be fine 
this is a little deeper, bro. This is a little deeper, bro. Not so much you can do when it comes to a basketball game. This is why they have to have hoopers up there, creative hoopers, people who played in real life, people who are good at the game, who understand the mechanics, how to dribble. That's what they have to work on. They're trying to work with like outsiders. It's like an outsider group trying to piggyback off of something. They're not even like, oh man, yo, these. Man, I can't. Season three, NBA 2K25. The community is in an outroar. I got a, oh, I got a fire video too. This one gonna be like, I'm about to just start dropping them because some gonna be quicker, some but, but it's good detail. Like when y'all, when I start breaking out all these problems and showcasing like they problem, y'all about to see. Hit the like. I got one coming right after this. Make sure y'all have to know these on. If you don't, oh well. Sorry, I'm gonna do this shit if I'm by myself.